the end of Cappadocia. So I kind of perverted Turkish dance in 7 8 in a rather obscure mode, which started back in the mid 90s as a scene change piece in a theatrical production and it's gradually got fleshed out to the piece we now have which I regard as the definitive Cappadocia. It's a back garden in Hackney, what do you expect? <laughs> One of my initial influences, conceptually, was the band Yes. They were ostensibly a rock band, they made a rock sound, uh, very good vocal harmonies and all that sort of thing, but they were producing extended, through-composed pieces that weren't in the usual first chorus, first chorus, middle eight, first chorus kind of formula. And I thought I would try and do something like that, except stylistically, I was much more influenced by Frank Zappa and various jazz other major influences include Stravinsky, Bartok, Messiaen, others of that early to mid 20th century generation of composers, and there are jazz influences like Ellington, Fingus, the Bebop Greats, Parker, Gillespie. Life and Times, I suppose you could say, is our signature work, which is modelled on the shape of a symphony, it's about half an hour long and the durations of the sections and subsections, the movements and the sections inside them, are all governed by the golden section, uh, which I'd read about Bartok doing, very important influence from him. Especially in the first movement, which is the most complex of all the pieces we do, there are golden sections within golden sections within golden sections, and the same in reverse. It's a very tightly structured work, and the first movement, what's more, is um, a deliberate exercise in classical sonata form. Exposition, repetition, development, recapitulation and coda. <laughs> development section represented by a series of solos. slow movement. Scherzo, subtitled Midlife Crisis. And then there's a finale, which is a kind of fantasia. You can hear the very rough recording we made 
back in 1974 of the first movement of Life and Times at the URL in the comments. Our other major piece, Ludwig's Van, as the title might suggest, is modelled on a piece by Ludwig van Beethoven. <laughs> But there are also some more recent influences involved in the 